home right now. Police are on the hunt for a man they say shot and killed another man who was working at the Alpine's apartment homes on Monday. Tonight, Lauren Maxwell tells us more about the victim and the family he left behind. Mike and Maria, 37-year-old Josiah Gerker loved Alaska, the outdoors. His brothers say he could never get enough fishing. In fact, he was one of 10 siblings, but he also had a family of his own. Friendly, kind, compassionate. Those are some of the words used to describe Josiah Gerker, whose murder left behind his wife, daughter, and their unborn child. The family are members of the ACF church in Eagle River, where their pastor has been tending to their grief. Every emotion you can imagine, from anger to uh, just, just struggling with what happened, and then uh, moments of just sadness and trying to figure out, like, why did this have to happen? It's a question others are asking, too. He was uh, known for his leadership, and he also won other awards. Employees at Widener Properties, where Gerker worked for six years, are also grieving. A spokesperson says Gerker managed the company's biggest property, Alpine Apartments, was in the building leasing office when the shooting happened, and may have put himself in harm's way to protect others. What I can say is he was not the only one uh, working that day, and we had other team members, and uh, yes, he... Um, par for the course for the kind of man that he was, uh, that he was there trying to protect other folks. And so um, we owe him a, a debt of gratitude. Back at the church, his pastor says he's not surprised Gerker touched so many lives. He was at church almost every week. He'd give me a big bear hug every time he'd see me. So just a, a kind, loving man. And his faith really was one of the most important things to him. He says that faith is now serving as a measure of comfort to those he left behind. And the family is planning a memorial sometime next week. Friends have started a GoFundMe account to help support Gerker's wife and children. And the last time I checked, it had raised more than $54,000. Mike? Such a sad situation, Lauren. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much.